I'm a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. I was told I'm a Swifty. I don't even know what that means. I'm a Swifty. Today, we're gonna find out who the real Swifty is. is by playing a little trending game on TikTok called is it a Bath and Body Works product or is it a Taylor Swift song? What? So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a title. It's either the title of a Taylor Swift song or it's the title of a Bath and Body Works product, either a soap, a candle, etc. Because you'll find out pretty soon that they're very similar. Also, we'll find out. stay to the end of the game because then we're going to try one of Taylor Swift's favorite breakfast that she eats. We're that's, gonna make it and try it. That's and what I'm excited about. We've never had mm. it before, mm -mm. so. All right, round one, a thousand wishes. Oh, I thought you already did it. <laughs> no, that's that's the title, a thousand wishes. Ooh, I don't know, that could be either. Just saying when I took this quiz, because I got these questions from an online quiz, I only got half of them right. <laughs> so you only need to be 51% right and you're a 50. Well, I got 53, <laughs> but. Okay, reveal. We got Swifty, Bath and Body, Bath and Body, Taylor Swift. It is Bath and Body Works. Oh, I knew that one for sure. That is a classic Bath and Body Works set. A thousand wishes. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Is that a soap or a candle? Um, I know it, it as a lotion. All, it comes in a lot. It comes a body spray. I think it. I swear I had a lotion. It does can I don't pay attention to the names. I just go by the smells. Or like yeah. the perfume. Yeah. The body spray. One point for Katie. One point for Jake. Round two is Midnight Snow. Bath and Body or Taylor Swift. Just so you Five. know, I'm done drawing. Okay, they're doing up. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Bath and Body. Bath Whoa, and Body. Jake Whoa. And I you guys are synced. All right. It was Bath and Body yeah. Works. Midnight Snow. Yeah. I don't think I've had that one. That is the best smell ever. <laughs> Watch, I probably have it. Like, in the house. <laughs> so everyone on the couch is tied. Round three no. is Lavender Haze. Wait, that's the question. <laughs> that's the thing. Lavender Haze. Okay, there has to be a Taylor Swift now. I'm not going with my gut on this one because my gut I think is wrong. Same here. I'm yeah. not going with my gut either because I'm going with my gut from now on. There that could be either one. Okay, ready? There has to be one of these. Taylor Swift, Bath and Body, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. It was Taylor Swift. <laughs> what is that song about? I've never heard it. it was What's it called again? Lavender Haze. haze. I think that's the song, but I might be wrong. What does it mean? Like lavender, lavender haze? What does that mean? I don't. I don't. <laughs> so ask me. I'm not like like you're ready to drink because long lavender long makes you sleep. I'm not so the 100 percent swifty. I'm the 53 percent swifty. Okay, you guys let me know. I don't. I don't know the song. Maybe that's I'll listen to it after. Inspired by some breakup. I think it's the I just lavender haze. But it might not be right. <laughs> Round four. <laughs> it is Paris. <laughs> I know she looks in shock at Taylor Swift. Paris. It could be a Bath and Body too. I could totally see that on a candle. Yeah. I think that's actually a perfume by another singer as well. It's funny how similar these two are. Taylor Swift, Bath and Body Works. Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Yeah. There had to be a breakup Paris? song in Paris. Yeah, it makes sense. Like. I find you in Paris and eight. broke up with you. Oh. <laughs> It wasn't on the menu. Um, so do I. Taylor, though, for real. Oh, my. Expectations. Okay, the next one is Into the Night. Ah. <laughs> I. If I get this wrong, that's a Kenny Rogers song. I just think it was Tiffany. Bath and Body Works, Taylor, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. Bath and Body yeah, Works. Yeah, buddy. Bro, <laughs> what I have one point. What smell would Into the Night be? What is that smell? You don't want to know the smell. What it's do like you greasy. smell when you go greasy. into the night? It's greasy, boy. Like, describe yeah. that yeah, scent to me. Check your Let me know. Oh. I'm curious what you think Into the Night smell is. Also, play this I game along with us and let us know in the comments how many I you got know. right. Next round is Christmas Tree Farm. 
Okay, <laughs> guys, it's gonna be bad that. in Body Works, but I'm writing this, the other one. I literally have to keep double checking just to make sure, because I'm like, I don't even remember. I don't think one would break up in a Christmas tree. Oh. But you could. Oh, I could see it happening. And there would be a number one hit song about it. <laughs> oh, literally it's break up dangerous. anywhere. Okay. Bath and Body Works. Okay. Ready? Bath and Body, Bath and Body. What? Or Taylor Swift. You can't do that! <laughs> She's Bath and Body. I said Taylor Bath and Body, Taylor Swift. Okay. It is Taylor Swift! No. Yeah! She did break up with the tree car. <laughs> Are all her songs about breakups or just like... No, they're breakups? not all about okay. breakups. They're not. So she went to a tree farm once? <laughs> on a date? Okay, next round is... Haunted Nights. Taylor Hello. Swift song or Halloween Collection of like a Bath and Body Works about a Haunted Night though, so... But I, don't, I don't know if Bath and Body has ever made it something like this. Okay, ready? Got it. I don't know too much, honestly, about Taylor, but <laughs> she seems nice. Bath Taylor and Swift, body. Bath and Body, Bath and Body, Bath and Body. It was Bath and Body. Oh. Yes. It just okay. doesn't make sense, like with her style. You need to Halloween. Know, yes, uh, the right answer. Oh wait, I'm wait. curious. Let me know if she has a Halloween song. Does she? I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm okay, you guys, let me know. Does Taylor Swift have a Halloween song? I guess I could Google it for myself. But it'll be easier if you guys tell me. <laughs> okay, next one is Mad About You. Mad About uh, okay. You. Okay, if that's not Taylor Swift, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I wonder if we'd be better at winning be if like we just that. picked one or the other and just constantly did it straight. <laughs> that's straight I tried right. that and I kept getting it wrong. <laughs> I'm like a 50 50, like half points right. Okay, we have Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, Bath and Body. I don't know. Different. What was the song again? Mad what About You. Mad About it You. It is Bath and Body! What is that smell when you're mind. mad about you? It's gotta I be a uh, Maybe a Valentine's? Yeah. It's probably like... I picture like pink and... Yeah. Okay, next round is Starlight. <sighs> I just hear collective <laughs> sigh every time. This is so hard because it would make a good candle, but it could be a good song. You're out on a date at Starlight. Starlight, <laughs> star bright, the star I like how dad just comes up random lyrics for every time he makes a song. I did that Bath and Body. <laughs> we should do a game where we give him like a title and then we have to come up with a song where we the song wins. <laughs> okay, we're thinking Bath and Body, Taylor, what do you guys think? Bath and Body. Taylor, Bath and Body. It was? Taylor Swift! Yes! I thought of it, I'm like, what smell would Starlight be? Okay. Are you ready for this one? <laughs> this round is peace. <laughs> Just peace. Actually, I think I might know this one. <laughs> that means it must be Bath and Body. <laughs> I'll give an explanation. I was like, I think I might have bought something that said peace on it. Oh, I didn't buy anything that said peace, peace on it. Peace on her. Second. Goodwill to men. Okay, that's the Your B and then this B is so different. I did it went upside down the other way. I think that Jordan had hand yes. sanity. Uh, hand sanitizer from Bath and Body. It, it said peace on. I remember the pink and purplish little logo flowery thing. Tell me it's Bath and Body. Right? Yeah. It's Taylor Swift. No! Oh. I should have there said has to be a Bath and Body. I, piece. I think you're right though. I, I picture it in my mind. I, me too. I right see the hand sanity. Yeah. <laughs> Do you okay. see it? I swear Jordan owns it. I had it. Well, if she says we're still right, I think we all get a point still. Uh, okay. We all get it. This round is You're the One. You're the one. You're that the sounds one. like a That's Taylor Shania Swift Twain. song, but we just did Taylor Swift. Valentine's. Twain. Valentine's. Bath and Body. Wait, uh, Valentine's. Fine, I'm gonna do the same. Valentine's. I'm, I'm getting tired of writing it out at this point. <laughs> yeah, I went opposite what I did last time, so it's gonna be wrong. <laughs> I know <Yeah>. that's fine. <laughs> okay, it is. It's gotta be a Bath and Body. Yeah, because it sounds like a Taylor Swift song. It's gotta be a Bath and Body. <laughs> All right, next round is Wonderland. That must be Bath and Body. Yeah. I had one in my mind and I went the opposite of with it. Let's see if I, I think I saw it. that there. Did like you see blue it? Blue candle. I kind of feel like that too. It's called Wonderland? Wonderland. But it would also Walking make a good in date. Winter Wonderland. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Alice in Wonderland? No, like being out in the snow, falling down. Okay, we got Taylor Swift, 
Bath and body, bath and body, bath and body. It is Taylor Swift. Oh, oh, she did not a date in the snow. She is no. awesome. All right, this next one is called Dark Kiss. <laughs> Thank you guys, it's uh, Taylor Swift. Yeah. But as soon as I write that down, it's gonna become Bath and Body Works. <laughs> but what the, what is Dark Kiss? I don't know. Like, that's why I must be too quick. I just picture like kissing Baltimore or something. Ah! Like that. <laughs> dark Kiss. <laughs> like, is he like the <laughs> darkness? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Taylor Swift. That uh, Taylor Bath and Body. It is. Wait, let me check again. Bath and Body. <laughs> Two rounds left. What do you think that smells like? There's not a dark kiss. Can the last two rounds be worth I'm guessing boys. chocolate. Like a dark chocolate okay. kiss. Oh, I'm so dumb. Dark chocolate. Okay, last two rounds. Yes. We have forever winter. Are you serious? <laughs> what does that even mean? Like forever winter's winter. never gonna end. So it's just like gloomy for Why the rest of forever. Why you want soap that smells like forever winter? <laughs> yeah, right? Just because we don't I like winter doesn't mean some people doesn't. The last, like winter. the last winter. They like it until like, they've been through so a really long winter, winter, and then trust me, nobody <laughs> likes it. I'm going with the TS. It has to be her because why would you make a scent that's like a never-ending okay. winter? Whoa, whoa, about the fire You're committed. <laughs> you are committed. <laughs> What's yours, Ty? Taylor Swift. It was Taylor Swift. Yes. Okay, last it's round. all of the winter ones. They're always Taylor Swift. I'm pretty sure. I think Taylor really likes that. Her body works. Yeah, but last it's round good. is New Year's Day. It's gonna be. Taylor Isn't that Swift a scent? I don't. I honestly don't know. Why? Would, why would you make a candle yeah. about New Year's of all the holidays? Why would it be nah, about it's New Taylor Year's? Swift, so it must be. That's what I'm thinking. It, it's I'm probably, probably wrong. Body, so. But who would want to smell New Year's? <laughs> I'm going with the. Uh, Bath and body on the oh, periodic table. Wait, I want that. Really? Body. What would New Year's smell like? Yeah, what do you think New Year's smells like? I want like? to do bath and it body. It smells fresh rotates. and clean like a brand new sheet yeah, out, it's of the, out of the dryer. I they already have a candle. It's called clean sheets or something. Clean linen. That's what it's called. Bath and body. It's going to smell bath body. like sparkly cider. I want to do bath and body, Taylor. but it's Taylor. It is Taylor. Yes! Oh. Yes! All right, tally up your points. Who's the real Swifty here? I, I have a uh, five to the power of one. Okay, and five. Ten. <sighs> Sounds like I need to go and start <laughs> listening to more Taylor Swift. I got, I got five. I am the wow. Swifty. <laughs> Mom the Swifty! I was only two behind. So it was Mom tied and then Jake and Dad are tied. All right, let's go make some Taylor Swift breakfast crabs! This, I'm excited. Yes. Okay, so we did our research and we read somewhere that Taylor Swift likes to eat buckwheat crepes. Taylor Swift likes buckwheat crepes. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's with ham and egg. In this recipe, Parmesan. they call for Swiss cheese, but Taylor Swift likes Parmesan cheese. I do too. Now, I'm Taylor, I'm it's Swifty. also a big thing in France and they call it galettes. Um, it's becoming prop popular around the world apparently well, and we haven't it. ever had it. If Taylor's so, promoting it, it's getting popular. Oh yeah, it's got to be way popular. So we're going to try it today. Audrey's going to start working on the eggs. Look, you can see it like slowly turn white. Okay, so I'm going to start on the buckwheat crepes. I started actually a couple hours ago because they have to sit for a couple hours. The crepes I make, you don't have to let them sit. This, you do. And it's so different looking. I've never worked with buckwheat before. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Mom's in charge of the crepes because we all know what happened last time I was in charge of the crepes. What happened, Audrey? You're gonna have to watch my bake off. <laughs> Check out Audrey's bake off. Which one was it? Zelda bake off. So like basically, you just like pour as much as you want into a pan. You don't want it too thick. I probably poured a little bit too much here. Let's put it this way Audrey didn't get that far. <laughs> Okay. okay, so we're gonna make up a bunch of these and then we're gonna start putting the ham and cheese on them and the egg. This is a super quick meal. I could see why she would like it for breakfast. Plus it's really healthy. And, and it's gluten free. All right, I like my eggs over hard. So. These are all over hard. Note. What? I thought you liked runny. No. no. Why do I like runny? I thought I got that from you. Get it from Grandpa. I used Grandpa. to like runny, but... <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to flip it or do you want me to leave I it? I think flip like this. I think it might go right. just a little longer than you can flip it. Oh, <gasps> Mom! Wow. 
I you still know, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. <laughs> it was, you were nervous. Yeah, camera nervous. Because Taylor could be watching this. Well, I didn't oil the pan because the, usually there's enough butter in the crepes that you don't need to oil it. But I don't know. These seem a little bad. more fragile. Okay, so now it's time to assemble. We have our buckwheat crepes all done. So what we're gonna do is put Parmesan cheese, not yes. Swiss cheese, because that's Taylor's favorite. Not Taylor yeah. Swiss. <gasps> Swiss tough. Get it right. You did there. Okay. So we're putting some more Parmesan. I probably put more than she puts, whatever. Yeah. I don't know how much she puts. You can puts. never have too much cheese. Okay, then when Audrey's gonna slap some ham on. And then she's gonna plunk an egg in the middle. With my fingers. Wait, your phalanges? Yeah. What are you doing? I just washed them. Sure okay, and then we have to fold them up into like a square somehow. Probably gonna be hard because these are- With two pieces of ham, it'd be hard. Anyway, oh. then you're gonna supposedly fold it inward. And inward, and this is gonna be really good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She's all over here. Phil over here behind the scenes. Okay. <laughs> Movie <laughs> magic. Meanwhile, it's falling apart. <laughs> oh no. One piece of ham. Look, it's supposed to look like that. You get the picture right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna try one ham size. Or we're just gonna have crepe like this. Yeah. I think, I think we're just gonna do that. Like we're just gonna go like a flop. Two pieces. Or roll it like a burrito. No. It's not a burrito. Shit. Wait, you don't even got enough for two pieces for everyone. Okay, do one. That's why you're doing we're one. We're going to waddle it on. Rushing the ham. We'll get Jake the meaty one because he likes the meat. Because he likes his protein. He's a meaty boy. He's a connoisseur. Put that on. Greg on. Perfect form. I'm not a fan of the flanges. <laughs> She still got her issues. I still got issues with that flange. She washed her hand. <laughs> I'm the meat with my hands with the eggs. Think about it. people watching this are like cringing. I We're literally just here, washed right before it. Contaminating there. Ugh. She Except you're putting the egg on the ham and you're eating it. True. Okay, this is the buckwheat buckwheat crepe with ham, parmesan cheese, and egg. I'm gonna fold mine over because that's just what I'm. It's supposed to be folded in a square. I don't know how they make wow. it into a square. We're gonna just try it the way it is. You guys, taste test time. So taste I've got the cross, the cross, oh, Atlas. Atlas. Atlas trying to eat I'm gonna mine. get a little egg, a little ham, a little cheese, a little buckwheat. Okay. Is the Taylor Swift breakfast worth it? We'll it's dry. like a savory crepe. It's a little dry. Really? It would be really good with salsa or something like that. Yeah, it needs some sort of liquid on it. It hmm. tastes good. Like a paste. Paste. I don't know. Something cream, it needs something creamy. We probably should have fried the egg in bacon fat. Maybe I think more we should cheese? have fried the ham. Oh, yeah. We should have fried the ham. Oh, yeah. like it. It's good. Are you good? But I think I would twist it a little bit. The buckwheat crepe tastes good. It doesn't oh, have like a really like. It doesn't have a really strong flavor. Do you like it, Jake? I like the egg and ham. <laughs> okay, well this is dinner because Audrey and I don't have time to make anything else. We are leaving and I, yeah. I can make myself some. Okay, well this is dinner. This is all you get. I give it 10. Nine out of 10. Thumbs up, you eat it again, Ty. Nine out of 10. I give it about... That's good. Nine out of 10 is good. Seven-ish. Jake's not a Swifty. Okay, Audrey. Jake's not a Swifty. <laughs> Jake's not a Swifty. Not a true Swifty. <laughs> not a true Swifty. Okay, let us know if you tried this breakfast and tell us how you did on the little quiz that Audrey did with us beforehand. This was a lot of fun to try to um, figure out Taylor Swift songs and try some of the food that she would eat. It's always fun to try celebrity foods. If you guys want us to try more celebrity foods or routines, let us know who we should try next. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.